What's up guys, it's your boy James back with another video and today I'm going to be going through and doing one of my favorite things to do in FL Studio which is sample and uh, I'm going to be sampling one of my favorite hobbies which is video games. In theory this should be a really good video but I'm sure I will screw the pooch on the execution on this one but we are going to see so let's just jump into it. Oh and if we can get this video to 2,000 likes I will chop up a whole bunch of uh, video game samples and put it out for free in the next tutorial I drop so uh, yeah. Uh, also follow me on Instagram at thecxdy. Um, um, I release a lot of free stuff on there, my story, and yeah, let's get into it. <coughs> Alrighty, let's jump into the video. I'm going to uh, type in video game samples here, and um, probably just uh, sample the first thing I hear, so. Alrighty, that's good enough. Alright, let's uh, YouTube uh, to MP3 that. I'm gonna bring it in FL. Um, this thing sometimes takes a while to load, so I would just go to FL when it's done loading. Alrighty, that took forever, but it is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in here and uh, open it up in Edison. And first things first, I'm gonna take this off here because this tracks like where you are. If you're zoomed in, it'll follow, which I don't want to happen because I want to be able to chop here. I'll show you. <laughs> I don't want it to follow like that, so I'm going to turn it off, and then I'm going to turn this on so it loops, and I'm going to start right here around the beginning somewhere. Perfect. There we go. That's all I need, really, from this. And I want to make it like a little bouncy hip-hop track, so I'm going to bump this down to like, I don't know, 120. And I'm going to time stretch it, and then stretch it so it's on mono. Now it's a little slower, and I'm gonna mess with the pitch, see if there's like a cool pitch. Alrighty, so yeah, I'll probably drop this to like... 300 is probably good, so I'm gonna bring this in. Um, that sounds pretty good. Um, I think I want to add some stuff to it here real quick and just kind of see how it sounds. Uh, maybe EQ it. Cause there's a lot of low end. I'll probably leave some of the low ends in the intro, but not throughout the track. And, um, let's see. Oh, we're going to be using something called Super VHS, which is today's video sponsor. <laughs> I don't know why I got hyped like that, but uh, yeah, so this video is brought to you by Baby Audio's uh, Super VHS, and this is a really, really dope plugin. It basically does what it sounds like. It's one of those modulators like RC20 or Isotope Vinyl. It messes with the sample and gives it a more like vintage aesthetic, which is really cool, especially for these video games uh, samples. You can come up with some pretty cool stuff. You got all your knobs here, and I'll just kind of go through like kind of some of the cool sounds you can make with it. It's a really simple plugin, and I'll have a link for that in the description below. Go check that out. I've been using this uh, all the time. It's like a little bit of like the secret sauce I've been using on most of my samples that I've been chopping up. You don't need much of it, um, just a little bit can go a long way, so I like using that. Yeah, it's basically all I need for the melody, so we are gonna go in here and start laying down some drums. Make this super simple. Let's go into my drum kits over here. <laughs> Turn this down a little bit, and now I'm just gonna try and find like the root notes and stuff that's in key. so that they don't overlap like that. Bring this in right away, just so the mix is going. I have to turn this down a little bit. Uh, let's do a kick. For that, I clicked uh, Control C, Control V, come into the piano roll, Control A, Alt K, and then you guys are gonna have it set up like it's gonna look like this or something if you haven't done this before just bring it all the way to c whoops i have this c sharp loaded in here there we go now it's all on c So 
sounds pretty cool. Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it too much. Actually, I don't know why I said that. Oh I'm gonna have this actually set on a third step. The reason why I do that is because you can get a lot of cool grooves with with like a third uh, hi hat rolls like that triplet that you can't really get with half or four. I just like working in it. It's simple for me. And we'll try to come up with something cool. I don't know. I really want like a like a really cool Pyrex type of bounce or something like that on this. Pyrex with a Alright, okay, yeah, we got a kind of a cool bounce here, I guess, so we'll bring this over, and I still want this second half here to be a little bit different, so uh, let's see what we could do here. Sounds pretty cool. I like that. So we'll keep that there. And that's kind of the, the meat and bones of the song. Everything else is kind of just flare filler. Let's add a open hat in right here in the beginning. I'll probably substitute some of these for a different open hat. I just wanted to kind of get the group going. This would be like a triplet, I think, here. Da, da, da. all different directions here I feel like for some reason with video game samples you're able to do like really cool experimental stuff because it's like got that very like chip bit tune type of sound to it and you can do fun things without overdoing it too much so you could do cool rolls like this here and there <laughs> So for this, actually, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna split these. You don't need that many sounds. What you're gonna do a lot with these is like, just be experimental and do cool stuff for like intros and stuff like that. For now, I'm gonna take off the low end or I'm gonna leave the low end in for the intro, create a clip like this. But actually, I wanna play with the sample a little bit more and see if I can come up with something cool just for the intro, like maybe halftime or something like that. So I'm gonna move these over and get a very basic arrangement going here before I go too in depth. So let's loop this. The low end in this is actually really cool. It's really good. Maybe add some RC20 as well, just for some certain effects, like uh, maybe a little bit of noise and a little bit of a wobble effect. Just very subtle. <laughs> Also, too, this boost, uh, oh, I'm pointing here like you can see. Look at my mouse. Um, here with the tone. Tone will just kind of point out some of the higher frequencies, or if you do lower, it'll do some of the lower. Here, I'll just show you. It, it'll, it'll, like, accentuate some of the tones that wherever you're dragging it to. Here, focus on the high end more. Here, focus on the low end more. I'm just going to leave it as it was because the high end kind of sounded cool. Boost it a little bit. And I just widened it, the whole thing a little bit. So that's some halftime, see how it sounds. It's pretty hard, how does it sound reversed?
kind of like that. So for this instance, what you're gonna wanna do, if you do wanna reverse it, make that unique and reverse it here. I think I got an idea of what I wanna do. So I'm gonna come in here, do like a half time modulator like this. And this is how I'm gonna automate it. Huh, I kind of want to make this smoother, the transition a little smoother. That sounded like weirdly abrupt. Because of the way that comes in, maybe we could do something cool with like the intro. Like the intro, what it drops in. Maybe like not have everything drop in. Make this a big like with some type of uh, effect. Let's try that. And then it just goes into the hi-hats for this length, and then it goes into the whole thing. Actually, before we get into that part, let's uh, let's master this a little bit. I'm gonna come in here and uh, do a limiter, and I'm just basically gonna like game stage it. Take all this down, all the envelopes, and uh, a little bit, but I have to do this over here, because I gotta hear. Actually, let me bring everything into the roll. For this, I'm doing uh, clicking each one while holding shift that I want to bring in. These are already brought in, as you can see, four, two, three, five. So I'm going to come over here to the next one and just route it. I'm going to mono that, stare, that uh, kick pretty well in the center. Yeah, let's see how this sounds now. It came in kind of weak. I didn't like the way it came in that much. Ooh, let's try this. Let's try this. No clap is probably best. And then try this halftime here again. I'm gonna make this unique. Have it drawn out like this, maybe. No kick here until there. Have, uh, we'll see. The only issue here is I don't like the way that it came in that much. So I'm gonna work on this. So I like the idea. It just doesn't sound like a full idea to me. So this is where like you just start trying different stuff. So I'm gonna bring this all the way down here just so I'm a little more organized. I'm going to actually just record this with the uh, halftime in. And I'm gonna do that by going here to the master, making sure that song is selected, not pattern. Click song, have this selected, click alt R if you're on FL20, enter, and it'll bring it in here. And now you have it. It's gonna be extra loud just because of the, it, it, it uh, took into account the limiter I had on it, and uh, or this, the gain staging that I had on it, but you can just turn it down a little bit. And then here, just, I don't know, we'll see how this sounds. I'm gonna unique this, probably bring this into something new too. I wanna pitch it up uh, an octave, so if it's negative 300, uh, nine, quick maths. <laughs> kind of hard. Let's add some looperator. Let's take off some of these. How 
that sound just with that and not the halftime? That's cool with the uh, with the, the the snares, the triple snares hitting over here. It's kind of like where that glitch happens. Kind of hard. Kind of like that. So I'm gonna leave that in there. Just like that. So I kind of like the way that this progressed. Yeah. Basically from here, not much left to do. I'm gonna be a, a little stickler here actually and cut this and this that way where there is no 808 here for this part, it goes back to like having the low end. <laughs> The one cuts out again because the automation right when the 808 comes back in, right? <laughs> And then just bring these all in and we are good to go. I'm actually gonna take those kicks out there, but we're good to go so that it comes in here. I feel like it gives it something to work up to here, so then it comes in here. Turn down this gain up just a little bit. And boom, easy peasy lemon squeezy, add my tag in there so that none of you uh, boys, Perfect. not you guys, because you guys are the producers, but so that nobody else steals it. It's kind of a joke that I've um, been using this tag for like three years now and I still don't have like a preset saved and I do it manually every single time. Perfect. There you have it. So that is how you sample a uh, video game sample um, super quick and easy. I don't know what else to say for this video. I don't know how to do outros. Um, if you guys liked, please drop a like and subscribe. Follow me on IG for that free stuff. Get this video 2,000 likes and I will put a whole bunch of these. Nuts. <laughs> Honestly, when I do stuff like that, I like to like put a little more effort into it and uh, like layer my own melody or counter melody on top of it. So I'll do that for you guys. I'll have updates like in the comment section for if you guys get it there, like where it's gonna be and when it's dropping, blah blah blah. Thank you guys so much. Uh, yeah, peace.